Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another one minute word of encouragement for the day for today, Wednesday, August 12th. And today's word comes out of Proverbs chapter nine. And once again, we're continuing this ex- exploration of the biblical idea of wisdom. And it's a passage that I read on Sunday morning. So if you were with us uh, for our service on Sunday morning, then you probably already heard this. Maybe you even have this passage memorized, but listen to what it says. This is Proverbs chapter nine, verse 10. Uh, we read this, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. There's a couple of important things here. First of all, um, the writer of Proverbs indicates that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And you know, when we think of fear, we think of being afraid, we think of being scared. Really, yes, in some ways it does have to do with that because I think when we recognize how incredible and awesome and powerful God is, there should be uh, an, an absolute fear that strikes our heart. But that fear is sort of balanced with the fact that God has extended his love to us. He's extended mercy and grace and invited us into relationship so we can stand boldly in the throne of grace, not boldly um, uh, brashly, but boldly boldly because God has invited us in as his sons and daughters. Um, But this idea of the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom is really this idea that as we understand how big God is, how glorious God is, how wonderful God is, as we begin to have a deeper understanding of who he is, that actually allows us to better understand not only who he is, but the world that he has created and, and how the people that he has created are are intended to function. And so as we understand him, we better understand the world that we're in. And as we understand that, we better understand the people that we're surrounded by. We we better understand ourselves and how we were designed to function. And as we understand those things, we're actually able to function and operate in wisdom. Why? Because we have a better understanding of the world around us and how we are to relate to the people and the world around us. And friends, that's wisdom. And scripture says that the beginning of that wisdom starts when we fear and submit to God. So friends, today, may you walk in fearful submission of the God of the universe, and may that submission to God lead to wisdom. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.